Hi everyone, I'm Squid, and today I'm going to go through the origin traits and how many emblems you'll need to get to the prismatic level. So this time next week, Set 11 should be heading to the live servers. And so I thought it would be a good time to start building some information about what each trait does, who's in it, and how many emblems you'll need to get to that prismatic trait level. Now this is going to be a long one, so use the chapters below to skip to the origin trait you want. After 8 seconds of combat, a dragon will strike the board dealing health percent true damage and granting allies attack speed for the rest of combat. You only need one emblem to reach Dragon Lord 5 with Janna, Diana, Lee Sin and either Rakan and Zaya. Unfortunately, this is an uncraftable emblem, but you could get it through the Dragon Lord Crest Gold Augment or the Dragon Lord Crown Prismatic Augment. You basically become a vampire or some sort of warlock, as every enemy death will grant you permanent additional health and also raises the base ability power of your champions. Once again, you will need one extra emblem to reach Dryad 6. This is thankfully craftable with a giant's belt and a spatula. Connect your team with Fated, where you form pairs, which unlocks a 20% HP gain and also a champion specific Fated bonus. Think the bling bonus for true damage in set 10. And you are going to need three emblems to reach Fated 10. This is craftable with a needlessly large rod and a spatula. At Fated 10, your champions gain 300% of their Fated bonus, which can be insane, especially on someone like Set who has a Fated bonus of 15% Omnivamp. I'll let you do the maths on that one. Fortune is back and you can gain luck for the fights you lose. At Fortune 3, you will roll a die. In that many turns, you will hold a festival where luck means prizes. At Fortune 5, you will heal three player health at the start of each player combat. And finally, at Fortune 7, you will get rewards every turn no matter what. Now this could be very powerful. <coughs> Still. So you need two emblems to get to that Fortune 7. And it is uncraftable, so you're going to need the Fortune Emblem Augments to help you out, or get lucky on the carousel. Be like Casper and become ghostly. When you deal or take damage seven times, you will send two spectres to haunt one enemy. And as they are haunted, they will then take bonus damage, whilst also healing yourself every two seconds. At Ghostly 8, this type of damage amp is up to 36% bonus damage. But to do so, you will need two emblems. But you're in luck, as all you need is a longsword and a spatula to live out your spooky fantasy. I'm not gonna lie, this is a confusing one. So, each unit that has the heavenly trait contributes something different to the to build like the ultimate warrior. Karzix adds 10% crit chance, Malphite adds 8 armor and magic resist, Nico adds 10 HP, Kiana adds 10% attack damage, Soraka 10 ability power, Wukong 12% attack speed, and then the emblem contributes 3% omnivamp. So we have that. And then the more heavenly champions you have, the better those contributions will be. So for example, at heavenly four, the bonus is 135%. So that Malphite will now be adding 13.5% crit chance. But on top of all that, the star level of each individual champion will then improve the bonus again. So a Malphite 2 increases the bonus by another 30%. You need one emblem to reach Heavenly 7. This is made with a cloak and a spatula, and I can see this being very powerful. 
Get all tattered up as you gain special ink shadow items and gain bonus damage and damage reduction for your ink shadow champions. The items are ink shadow tattoos and they are incredibly powerful. You will need one emblem to reach ink shadow 7 where you would gain four ink shadow tattoos. Unfortunately, this is one of those uncraftable emblems, so you'd need to get one of the augments or carousel to help you out. Gain health, ability power, and attack damage, and then, after four player combats, become epic, and increase the bonus by 50%. This can be very powerful, as more damage and health is always a good thing, and at mythic 10, you become immediately epic, and that bonus is increased to 250%. To do so, you're going to need two emblems, but these are craftable with a tier and a spatula. Not as brittle as you might expect, porcelain champions after casting their ability boil, meaning they gain attack speed and will take less damage for four seconds. Now, if you're able to chain your abilities so that it occurs under four seconds, your porcelain will become a mighty fine set of china. Now, to get the max of porcelain six, you will need two emblems, but these are craftable with a recurve bow and a spatula. Did you like Kale in set 10? What about set 9.5? Well, you're gonna get her again, but this time it's build it yourself. With Story Weaver Champions, build your Kale with different effects and turn her once again into a lethal weapon. You're going to need three emblems to ascend your Kale, but this is easier as you can build them with a chain vest and a spatula. I would like you to imagine KDA light up squares and the 8 bit execute augment from set 10. You got that in your mind? Well, let me introduce you to Umbral, which deals in low health executes for your Umbral units on the lit up hexes. And once you get to Umbral 6, well, damn, the whole board lights up. To reach the ultimate power of Umbral 9, which not only executes, but any enemy that dies by execution will then also drop loot. You're gonna need three emblems, which can be made with a sparring glove and a spatula. And I honestly think at Umbral 9, you win. And that is it for all the origin traits. Some of the information I've said during this video is subject to change because it is all based on the PBE version and not the live version of set 11. So we'll find out next Wednesday what stays the same. I hope you found this video informative as well as helping you build an idea of what comps you might want to create when set 11 is released next Wednesday. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite trait from today's video. I would like to thank you all very much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the arena.